Our mind refuses to accept the concept of inevitability of death. Indeed. So when one receives information that associates him with death, something tells him that this data is unreliable. We can sometimes predict the death of others, but we'll almost always be wrong about predicting our own. Experts tell us that subconsciously we ignore facts, perceiving ourselves as someone who'd have a lengthy existence, if not eternal. Why do we feel this way? Because no living being can or should understand that he is mortal at all. Everything in this world should propel us forward. We must create, execute things, and leave something after ourselves. To acknowledge one's mortality, to have the fear of death, it has an effect on us, right? The fear of death is the fear of non-existence. How can I imagine a world where I no longer exist? This is a terrible rejection of egoism. What is the world? It is I who exist. I know the world, understand it, feel it. I'm in it, in the center of it. But here, I suddenly disappear. What will be left of the world? I can only perceive it through my senses. If there is no I, then this is the end of it all. Our ego cannot conceive of the notion that the world can exist without it. The only solution is to explain to people that the world is eternal, endless, perfect. It is completely different from the way we perceive it. In order to see it differently, we have to rise up to the level of the quality of love and bestow, and then we'll see a different world. Meaning that we will break free, rise above our egos? Yes. We will see it in the quality opposite to egoism. The fact that we are created in a particular quality should not limit us. We have to see the world differently, multifaceted. Then we'll be able to see the world and ourselves in some sort of connection. You're saying that if I rise above my egoism, I come to the quality of love and bestowal and see the world as eternal? Yes. So that means that I become eternal? Yes, eternal. So it follows that death does not exist. In the quality of bestowal, there is no death. Will man come to perceive himself as eternal? Yes, the science of Kabbalah explains it to us. We can only do it under the condition that we desire it.